In today's video, we're gonna look at the best way to get consistent bot lobbies in Rebirth Island. If you've been playing Warzone lately, you might have noticed that the lobbies have been extremely sweaty, especially during peak hours. So I'm gonna show you guys how to get more bots in your games for a better gaming experience. So if you guys do enjoy today's video and learn something new, make sure you guys drop a like and subscribe to the channel. So the first thing you wanna do is visit lobbygod.com. It's a VPN that allows you to change your geographic location to get much easier lobbies. I've already made a couple of videos on the channel showing you guys the skill level of the players in each match. I'll do it once again in this video with Rebirth Island, but I'll have a link in the description to all of my previous videos using Lobby God. If you visit the Lobby God website, you can literally use the free trial to test it out and see if it works for yourself, so there's no risk. For those of you that are new, the VPN changes your geographic location, allowing you to get more bots in your lobbies. It's not always going to give you a full bot lobby, but it makes the chances of lower skill players entering your matches much, much higher. And sometimes it will give you a complete bot lobby with literally no good players at all. So to start things off, you want to type in lobbygod.com on your internet browser. You guys can go straight over to this website right here, Lobby God of Warzone Easy Lobbies. It's very simple to set up and they do have a free trial like I said before. This does work on console as well. I forgot to mention that console can use this and even Android iPhone if you guys are playing Warzone Mobile. It does work with Modern Warfare 3 and Modern Warfare 2 as well if you guys are trying to grind weapons and want easier lobbies for that or just trying to drop your first nuke. And this specific VPN gives you no lag. Most VPNs or most, you know, different ways of changing your geolocation will give you an insane amount of ping, but this actually does not give you any ping issues at all. So once you have visited the Lobby Guide website and set everything up using their instructions, you can go ahead and choose your servers. You're going to get a full list of servers. I recommend you guys try them all out, but I do have some favorites. I personally think that Kenya, Kyrgyzstan, as well as Vietnam are the best, and I live in California. Now, the most important tip from this is to make sure you do not play during the peak hours for that given location. So, for example, if I want to play in Kenya, I do not want to play when it's peak hours in Kenya. That's going to result in some seriously sweaty lobbies. A lot of people that try out VPNs and claim they don't work are people that don't really understand peak hours and how to choose the right server according to the right times. If you play on the wrong time on a certain server, yes, your lobbies will be absolutely diabolical. I mean, full stack teams of demons moving as a unit, literally zero chance of winning, especially if you're like me and just want to split from your teammates and have fun. Now, the beautiful thing is that Lobby God already shows you all the peak hours for each server, so you already know which ones are good and which ones are bad for the certain time you're playing. You don't have to start Googling all the uh, time differences or anything, so it saves you time. So on the screen right now is a full list of all the servers you guys can play on with there. Like I said, if you guys try this out with free trial, check out all these servers and make sure you're playing on the right times and you should be able to get some pretty easy lobbies. The gameplay you guys are watching right now is with the VPN on. I'm easily dropping at least 20 kills each game and sometimes I'm goofing off with really goofy guns like hand cannons or pistols or even like no scope snipers. It's pretty fun. Now, as I mentioned before, you're not going to get a bot lobby every single time. You're going to get, you know, a mix. Most of your lobbies are going to be like, you know, average lobbies. You have quite a bit of bots in there, but you also have maybe like two, three, maybe four good players in that lobby. You guys will sometimes get an absolute bot lobby, but if you guys want to make your chances of getting bot lobbies even higher, where you're basically getting bot lobby after bot lobby, you want to let someone host that has a really low KD that's also using this VPN. I could not stress this enough. I actually kind of found this out by mistake, but if you guys have some friends or another account that has a very low KD that doesn't really have, you know, the best game skill, if they're hosting with this VPN activated, you are going to get some seriously bot lobbies, like no sweats at all. The best player in the game besides you would probably have like a 0 0.7, 0 0.8 KD. Average in the lobby is probably like a 0.5, which is very low. I mean, these players aren't even facing your direction. I mean, this could get boring for some people that want to actually have a challenge, but if you guys are just tired of getting stacked on, then yeah, that would definitely be the way. If you guys are really just trying to stack some wins, maybe even go for a nuke, yes, that's probably the best way because, uh, I mean, you guys watch the gameplay right here. These guys just don't really know what's going on. They're just running around in circles, completely unaware of where they are. So definitely, if you guys have friends, play with them and let them host if they have a lower KD. Whoever has lowest KD should be hosting at all times. That's going to give you guys the best lobbies. But that's all there is to getting bot lobbies in Warzone. This is one of the best methods. You guys should definitely check it out. I will be covering some videos on two boxing eventually, showing you guys how to get bot lobbies with that. But this right here is the easiest and it doesn't require another console. So definitely check out their free trial. There'll be a link in the description. And with that being said, I will see you guys in the next one. Peace, love, and understanding always.